Day one of Safari Club International show here in Las Vegas. Uh, we're joined by Peter Horn, who is Beretta's Vice President of Retail, but he's also a past president of the SCI Conservation Fund. So let's talk a little bit about Conservation Gun, and then we'll focus on this wonderful piece of uh, art that you're holding. Safari Club and conservation. Safari Club International is way more than just a bunch of really good hunters getting together. Uh, it's about conservation, it's about a lifestyle, and it's about making sure that we afford the opportunity to next generations to live that wonderful lifestyle uh, that is hunting. That's correct, because if hunters don't protect the game, there won't be any game, there won't be any hunting. So hunters are natural conservationists. Does Safari Club uh, have uh, programs that are just in the United States or all over the world? All over the world. We, we don't differentiate. Hunting is hunting. Hunting is hunting. So every year at Safari Club International, there's a series of auctions, uh, and the proceeds of that go to a number of programs, conservation programs being among them. Saturday night is the key auction, and Beretta has been a staple of those auctions with a number of products that we donate, the proceeds of which are going towards programs like that of conservation. This year, though, it's a little special because we've created a product that I don't think anybody's ever seen before. Uh, definitely not. This is a one-of-a-kind gun. Completely different. The concept, uh, we're in Las Vegas, so it's a gun that celebrates gambling and uh, completely, uh, the engraving is completely hand-done. The enameling is done by our head engraver, Luca Cesare, and uh, it's a 20-gauge, 30-inch gun, which is great for game shooting. Um, the amount of handwork it probably took him was probably 150 to 200 hours of work on it, and um, completely unique. Even the case has a roulette number system on the top of it, taken off an actual uh, roulette wheel. What is the platform for this gun? It's obviously a very unique gun. It is a one of a kind if there ever was one, but what's the basic gun under there? Well, the basic gun is a Jubileo, which is our entry level of our premium program which runs from $18,000 for the basic gun up to $300,000 for an SO10 EEL done by a master engraver. So you talk about entry level and you talk about basic gun. When I look at this, I don't think entry level. I certainly don't think entry level gun. Um, how many hours beyond the massive number of uh, engraving hours, how many hours does it take to make a gun like this? To do the work on this particular gun where there's a lot of hand work on this gun, probably took another 100 hours, so you have 100, 100 hours, you probably have 250 to 300 hours by the time the gun is completely finished. And the project itself, though, dips back longer than that, because the, the idea of making a gun like this started when? Oh, it started the second that uh, SCI's last auction stops. As soon as the auction is over, we go to Mr. Beretta and say, we need a new concept, what are we going to do? So. Who came up with the idea? Well, I think it was Niccolo D'Amico and uh, brought it to Mr. Beretta, uh, the Cavaliere Ugo with Sally Beretta, and he loved the idea. They sent me an email, what do you think? And I said, wow, you got it. This is a great idea. The auction's going to be Saturday night. Obviously, we hope it's going to bring in as much money as feasible because it's going to a great cause. What is the value of this gun? $30,000 U.S. And uh, how does somebody get invited to an auction like this and then raises their pretty little hand to bid uh, for this game? Well, Saturday night there will be about 3,000 people. This is the big night. Everybody gets dressed up. It's black tie. And uh, we've been doing this for over 25 years. We're the number one contributor as an exhibitor to all of SCI. There's 700 people on the list, so we're pretty proud of that. And uh, the Beretta family is always involved in any conservation progress, uh, program we ask them to do. In fact, I understand that Beretta is the largest contributor of Safari Club, is that correct? That's correct. So as a hunter, uh, as a almost a Beretta family member, because you've been with Beretta forever, uh, so you are part, at, at least an adoptive part of the family, and as a past president of the Conservation Fund. How important is it for hunters to be directly involved, either through donations or 
by putting their own time. How important is it for them to be directly involved in conservation efforts? It's extremely important because it's the future of hunting. Uh, no one cares how many big heads you shot or what you shot. It's you have to make real conscious effort with money, time, uh, education to other people of what hunters do. People think hunters only hunt. Well, again, if you don't conserve the animals, what are you going to hunt? So hunters should be involved directly. Is Safari Club International a good resource to start looking into it? Absolutely, because Safari Club really puts their money where their mouth is. Peter, thank you so much for uh, showing us the gun, for spending a few minutes with us. Um, if you guys want more information on this amazing piece of art, you can go to Beretta.com. We have all the pictures and all the details about the gun. More information on the Safari Club International website. If you want to keep in touch with us on Facebook, you can do so at Facebook.com slash Beretta USA, or you can tweet me at Beretta underscore USA. From Las Vegas, for right now, that's all. We're going to see you again with some amazing guns. Stay tuned. Bye.